Welcome to this tutorial series, uh, the first video, learning how to use Sweet Home 3D. In this video, we're going to be exploring the interface and learning how to use some of the tools in Sweet Home 3D. To get started, I'm going to click here and maximize uh, the window so it goes to the full size of my screen. If you don't have Sweet Home 3D installed yet, check out my other video where I show you how to download and install it uh, on Windows. It is free software for personal and commercial use. There's also a paid version that gets you more objects and more textures, but the free version can be used absolutely to create floor plans for your clients or to conceptualize ideas that you have. This is really cool, very powerful software, so I'm glad you found it and found this tutorial series. Uh, go ahead and feel free to ask questions if problems come up as you're, as you're getting involved in this. I really want to help you be able to use this software for your purposes and your goals. So. First of all, we have in the top right-hand corner, we have this grid. This is where we're going to be working at almost always. This is the most, uh, this is where we're going to spend most of our time. So let's just get started right off the bat, just drawing something. We're going to click here on the wall tool and it brings up a dialog box. Go ahead and read through this. It teaches us how to use the tool and then click OK. And now we're in our wall tool. So we see our cursors changed to this plus sign or this crosshair. So I'll just click over here. We see we have measurements across the top and the sides. We can kind of get a reference for where we are. I like to start on zero, zero, but you can start anywhere. So I'm left click, I left click, and I don't hold, I just left click once. And then we come to another point, maybe 30 feet over, and we left click again. And we can just keep left clicking. And every time we left click, it'll create a point for these walls, where we want these walls to go. And when we're done, we can go to our last point if we want to, or any point. And we can just double click and it closes off. Uh, and now we're done. We've drawn a complete, uh, yeah, a complete kind of rectangle that is 30 feet wide by about 16 feet tall. Uh, and then we can, or not tall, I mean, I guess it's 30 feet by 16 feet and it's actually, I think, eight feet tall. But um, we still have our wall tool selected. So if we were to click again, left click, it starts creating another wall. And so if we start doing that and we find we've created some walls we don't want, just hit the escape key or you can double click to end your wall and then come back over to the selection tool. Once we're on the selection tool, we can actually click individual wall segments and we can either, we can adjust them, we can move them around if we left click and move and they'll move according to the different points they have. Or we can just, while they're selected and they're a little bit darker blue color, we can hit the delete key on the keyboard and it'll delete that wall. So that's kind of how we can change those if you've accidentally did a wall, um, that we can do it that way. So now that we have an object drawn, we can come down here and we can left click and hold and we see we have a 3D uh, model of this 2D uh, layout that we've done. And we can zoom in here by clicking these green arrows and zoom in closer or zoom out further. We can kind of pan around or rotate this around like this and we can click these inside buttons to change the view, like the perspective we're looking at it. That's pretty cool. Or we can just left click and hold and we can move it around like in free space like this. So this is our model and whatever we draw, if we were to come grab the wall tool again and we draw a wall inside here, like we left click, and now we can see that wall is being drawn in real time in 3D for us. So we can actually, whatever we do gets drawn up in there. And then when we're done, again, we can just double click or hit the escape key and it closes out of that. And then we go back to our tool here, uh, our selection tool. And then we can select any point of this wall, hit the delete key to delete a point. We can kind of come in and see what that looks like. And so I would say for this, what I want you to have take away from this tutorial is learn how to draw walls and learn how to use the different measuring systems. So go ahead and we'll click on the wall tool again and we'll uh, just this time pay close attention to what the what the the tooltip is telling you or what the uh, this little dialog box is telling you so this is saying length six feet you see it changes as i go down so it's saying the the length of the angle is is a negative 90 degrees so this this would be um zero at the angle and then this would be negative 90 this would be 180 this would be 90 if i go up so it tells you your angle if you want to do a 45 degree angle wall tells us the angle is 45, the length is nine foot 10 inches, the thickness we can't change right now, but we can, we'll change that uh, later, and then left click. So just get familiar doing this and go ahead and draw up 
maybe the the room you're sitting in you know measure the length of the walls and try and draw up the room you're sitting in and then when you're done with that toggle between the selection tool and the wall tool and go ahead and practice moving walls around and practice deleting walls and what you might find is um, there's actually another thing you can do which is like we can move just the actual point of the walls if we want this corner to be somewhere else we can move the point oops if I select it and it'll move both of those um, we can we can select multiple walls by holding down the shift key so if we hold down sh if we select one and hold down shift and select another one we can move those two walls together at once if we left click and hold we can select everything all these walls and then we can just move them all around our whole project or if we want to just move these ones for example and I want to unselect that blue wall I can hold down the shift key and deselect this one and I can just move these in this, these walls together so play with selection play with moving if I want to just delete these I can select just all of those at once and hit the delete key so play with drawing walls deleting doing that and in the next video we'll get into changing the properties of these walls. Appreciate you watching. Uh, catch you in the next video.